In 2007, the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists moved the doomsday clock two minutes closer to midnight. It now stands at five minutes to twelve. Since the advent of the atomic age with the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world's peoples have sought the elimination of nuclear weapons. To that end, the member states of the United Nations signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Yet still there are thousands of nuclear weapons and no final agreement on their abolition. The big item missing is non-proliferation and disarmament. This is a real disgrace. I consider this to be the most important conference the United Nations has ever held. But it is uh, the emergency action to ban nuclear weapons. Our uh, mission is to have all nuclear weapons eliminated by the year 2020 and within the framework of the United Nations. Thousands of nuclear weapons remain on hair trigger alert in the US and Russia. 2,000 are on hair trigger alert, ready to launch on 15 minute warning by the decision of one man, the President of the United States. This is a very, very dangerous situation and this, the Russians presumably have essentially the same number of warheads and the same procedures. I want to make it clear that I believe Iran and North Korea should not obtain nuclear weapons, nor should anybody else. But those two states are the flashpoints off of a volcano. The volcano is the existence of 34,000 nuclear weapons possessed by the nuclear weapon states, most in the hands of the United States and Russia. The weapons per se are dangerous anywhere, anytime. If you look at the U.S., there are lots of weapons on hair trigger alert, and the same applies to, to, to Russia. There was an obligation on all powers that possess nuclear weapons to take meaningful steps to reduce their arsenals with a view to their total abolition. What the message sends to the rest of the world is that the U.S. has no desire to live up to its disarmament commitments. The uh, possibility of terrorist use of nuclear weapons combined with the keeping nuclear weapons on alert, this double danger, I call it. It has become, become a real danger for the, ex to the continued existence of the human species. Now, the first step to prevent it is to remove the instrument which can lead to such a catastrophe. And this is the reason why our immediate objective is the elimination of nuclear weapons. The former commander of the American nuclear fleet in the Pacific, Admiral Noel Guyler, once said, the way to get rid of the bombs is to get rid of the bombs. Nuclear weapons are a creation of humanity. They are a product of human ingenuity and human political structure. If they're the product of humanity and, and governments, they can be resolved by humanity and governments. And with new leadership, I think the United States can lead the way to the fulfillment of Article 6, which is part of the bargain underlying the non-proliferation treaty. We have the majority of the global population behind uh, the vision for a nuclear weapons free world. People will work through mayors, through parliamentarians, through friendly governments. We're not going to wait for the next five years for this NPT review to come around. The struggle against nuclear weapons is a fight we can win and must win. So let's just win it. Let's hear it for the man's peace.